Alert. I wasn't with her when it happened. The lady must have been washed out. I mean, she went through all three of the police barricades, off the edge of the bridge, down into the water. Now we can't find her. Doesn't sound like an accident to me. Is she hurt? Dylan? How badly is she hurt? Answer me, Dylan! She's dead, isn't she? She's what? She's dead. She's, she's Hello? dead? Dylan, what? Dr. Marler? Yeah? Dr. Marler, Sam is... She's not dead. She's just very badly hurt. She's hurt? Who is this? You don't know me. My name is Harley Cooper. Sam came down here to be... Where are you calling from? What hospital are you calling from? Um, this is the Central Keys Hospital near Marathon. All right, can you put a doctor on the phone? Can you do that for me, please? Yes, put a yes. doctor on the phone. Yes, I can. Uh, doctor, doctor. Um, this is Dr. Marler. This is Samantha's father. He wants to talk to you. Dr. Marler, this is Dr. McPherson, Central Keys Hospital, Marathon, Florida. Uh, yes, sir, I think we should talk for a moment. I don't understand. How did you, how did you find out? Oh, well, I was at the beach with the kids, Myra and Shane, and uh, a park ranger picked us up, and well, we, we saw the ambulance. Where are Myra and Shane now? Um, I dropped them at the house before I came here to the hospital. Is Josh there? Are, are they with their daddy? No, I left the kids with Melody. You know, actually, I have to try to find Josh. I haven't even heard from him. I don't know. I don't even know where he is. She's dead, isn't she? Reba. She's dead. What's your friend doing? Not too good. I just told him about his mom. Look, have you heard from Mr. Lewis at all? I can't find him anywhere. Do you have any idea where he might be? Listen, uh, how well do you know this uh, Mr. Lewis? Why? I just got a call. He's still in the water, diving. Uh, they can't get him to come out. I also thought you might like to see your friend. Coming. Keep your pants on. That wasn't the greeting I was hoping for. What do you want? Did you forget something? No. Mindy, I was driving home and I was thinking how stupid this is. What? You and me, just friends. Mindy, I'm ready to give us a shot no matter what you say.
I'm the nanny. I take care of Mrs. Lewis's children. Well, I'm sorry. It's a damn shame. You have got to get him out of there. He has to get home. His children need We're him. We're not going to leave him out there. We'll wait till he exhausts himself, then we'll bring him in. That's it? Watch, you can see him stop and listen. It's as if she's going to call to him or something. Haven't you ever noticed no matter who or what comes between us, we always end up back together again? Yes, but... Bindi, you've been married three times. You've been off to Venezuela, but you're still here with me right now. I fell madly in love with Roxy. I went to Chicago for a year. I married Meredith. But somehow, somehow I find my way back to you. Now, doesn't that say something to you? Yes, it does. That we're friends, best friends. Who belong together. Beth is my friend, and I don't belong to her. Quit joking, Wendy. I'm serious. So am I. I am afraid that we could hurt each other. How? I mean, you just got finished saying that we're best friends. Best friends don't go around trying to hurt each other. I just, I don't see how it could work out. Why? It's hard to explain. Try, try, Mindy. Just, I'm not going to drop this. You're going to have to convince me, all right? You're going to have to give me one reason why we don't belong together. Just one. Rick, we're friends who are trying to manufacture feelings that just aren't there. Those feelings are there for me. You think they are, but... Wait, this has nothing to do with my feelings. For somebody else. There's nobody else. Are you sure? Positive. Then why didn't you give us a shot, Mindy? Because I, I just don't think that we're right for each other. Why not? What are you holding out for, Mindy? Keith Clifford and Kathy? Don't make fun of me. I'm not. I just think you're wasting your time waiting for a dream when something real right here standing right in front of you is staring right in front of you. Well, maybe all I want is a dream, okay? Maybe... Sometimes dreams come true. Maybe Heathcliff is standing right around the corner. Mindy, is that what you're waiting for? Is it? To be swept off your feet? To have your heart stuck right here in your throat? Is that it? What's wrong with that? I want fire. I want passion. Fires burn out, Mindy. Well, I'm willing to take my chance. Do you chances. think that's what Philip and Beth have? Fire? They have commitment. I don't they have want trust. To talk about this now. Why not, Mindy? I think it's very important. It's just not the right time. I have to wait. How long? How long are you willing to wait? As long as it takes. I'm just not willing to settle. For me. Don't worry, Mindy. You don't have to settle for me. Rick, wait. Rick? Hello? Sweetie, what's wrong? N nothing. Is this, is this a bad time for me to call?